Hello my friends and welcome back to another Plan With Me video. So today I'm going to be using the July subscription which comes out June 1st and it closes on the 10th. So I already did the unboxing so if you haven't seen that yet head on back check out the box unboxing so that you can see everything that you get in each one of the subscriptions. But I wanted to show you how I used them and also do a plan with me in the big seven by nine. So anyway, let's start with the Hobonichi Cousin. So in the Cousin, I do a couple different things. So I have here the daily pages. So this is my Aura Estelle. It's not a Cousin. Just get that out of the way. It's Aura Estelle and um, Aura Estelle and Annie Plans. And this is the complete vertical, weekly vertical A5. So it's their Hobonichi Cousin lookalike. So in between each one of the weekly layouts is a couple of blank daily pages. So I started off with the big sticker and then some of the washi right here, um, top and bottom, so that I have a place to do notes for this week. Then this is how the week came out. And we're actually, today is the 15th as of right this second. It's the 15th. And I need to back plan. So there's some stuff on here with some of the, the little... Um, Icons that I already knew, like I have all the weather on here. These are from Pinnacle Sticker Co. Love, love, love. The bill is from Pinnacle Sticker Co. I've got some Once More With Love in here. I've got some Coffee Monsters Co. in here. Um, this little schmoo guy. This one I got. This was a shop on Etsy. Still can't for the life of me remember the name of the shop. If I can remember it, I will link it down below so that you can find it. But here you can get printables. So I needed one for the treadmill so i got this cute little guy who is it looks like me it totally looks like me on the treadmill i'm all out of breath and sweaty and i hate it but whatever <laughs> it's got to be done right so and i'm getting better at it and then i got my little weight thing this was also from the same shop i wish for the life of me i could remember it this is the new coffee monsters cold and bring it up close so you can see it it's stinging adorable so if you're a part of her um emails this was the latest one that was emailed out. It's stinking adorable. And then I have the other one um, from the last email in here as well, because I used that one for, let me see where I used it. Well, anyway, in between pages. So I used the vinyl stickers and the washi from the washi sheets. So I've got plenty of space to write out what I need to do this week. And then this is a whole second week. So this is all from the same subscription. So I got two full weeks out of the subscription with plenty of, there's tons of stickers here, but I still have space to write wherever I need to write. Oh, there's the other Coffee Monsters Co. one. So those are the freebies. And then this, um, there's a show starting this day. So I put this Coffee Monsters Co. one here for hubby and I is going to be watching that movie. And then again, I've got the Pinnacle Sticker Co.'s with the weather for the whole entire week. And then the rest of it is all from that kit. Also the monthly. So let me flip over to the monthly. And then this is the monthly view. There's still a ton of stickers left over too, by the way. Let me zoom you in just a little bit there so you can see a little bit better. But this is how the monthly came out. And I just mark like, since this is all the way up to July, I left them blank because you never know, things might change. But these all have um, stickers on dates like uh, these. this one here is birthday. That was birthday. That's not going to change, obviously. I could put those in now. But there's other things on here that could change. So I haven't put anything down yet because this is a couple months away. But anyway, it came out stinking adorable. And instead of the washi that I had included with the monthly, I used one from the washi sheet because I just love this. The colors are so rich and so dark. And I just absolutely think that's absolutely gorgeous way to frame this page. So these are actually from the washi strip page. And then the washi, this one here, let me go back to where we were. This is the one that actually comes on the monthly. So I used it top and bottom here, I think. That might be the one or it might be this one. I can't remember. It's Yeah, it's this one, this one right here. So that's the monthly washi or you can use regular, the washi on the, the washi sheets. So anyway, that is the cousin and that's the way that one came out. And I need to, oh, I need a back plan. And then the weeks. So I wanted to show you a couple different. So this is the actual weeks planner. So this is Hobonichi Weeks, and this is how 
if I were to use a Hobonichi Weeks, this is how I would use it. I love having this artwork down the side. It's like just a pop of color everywhere. You've got your bottom washi, your top washi, your side banner. And then I've got some of the deco in here with like the little Polaroids. And then you know, guys know how much I love to layer. So these are just layered boxes where I can put like little notes in there or whatever. I, however, do not use a Hobonichi Weeks. I just bought this so that I could lay out the kit as it was intended so that you can see if you are a Hobonichi Weeks person and you use them, you can see like how I would use it if I did. This month, I decided to show you how I use the Weeks, um, the monthly and some of how I use in my Aura Stell. So this is the Weeks. Let me put this one away. This one's my Aura Stell. So this one is the Oristel Classic Daily Weeks Volume 2. So this is July to December. So since this kit is for July, I ended up coming in here. And let's start at the beginning. So this is a brand new planner for me. This is the second half of the year. So I put the full page sticker here. And then I've got the vellum here. And then when you flip over the vellum, I've got my July here with my, my do this. And these are all my notes for the month. And then this is how the monthly came out. So here's the monthly. And then when you flip the page, this starts the weekly. So how I would use this is I would like, these are actually from the monthly page, but using the weekly page, the deco page, the washi strips, the washi rolls, I would use this every single day because these are all blank. So when you flip through, you have all the blank pages all the way through. So I only did the first page so that I could show you, but when it comes to July and I actually start filling this one out, I will finish with this kit. So that is another way that you can use your weeks as well. It doesn't have to be in a Hobonichi weeks. You can use it in pretty much anything that's weeks sized or you know this size planner. Where you just have blank daily pages or like these are this is an, a weekly overview and then you have the whole entire week ahead and then it starts again with another weekly overview and then starts again until you get to the following month so i like this way because it gives me the freedom to um, put as many or as little stickers as i want to on each one of the pages because some days i just don't have anything to say but i want cute i want cute stickers i want cute pages so there's that. And then one more thing I was going to show you before we get into the actual plan with me. The journaling kit is in here. So this is going to be my travel journal. So starting this year, I just got back from a trip with my daughter. That's going to go in here. And then there's a bunch of other things. And the camping one is perfect because I keep promising my friend Amy <laughs> that I'm going to go to her campsite this year. I'm going to do it. And her campsite is, I'll tell you about it during the play. It's pretty awesome, but it is, it is straight up camping. <laughs> so I've been kind of avoiding it for a while because I'm more of a glamper than a camper, but out there, you gotta be a camper. There's no glamping out there. There's no internet, there's no power. It is a campsite that she owns property right on the, it's right on the river at the Canadian border. So gorgeous. I've seen like a billion pictures from there and they go tubing down the river and it looks like it's fun, but again, there is no electricity. There's there's an outhouse. There's less so you have no shower. None of that. It is straight up camping, which you know is going to be interesting for me because I haven't done that since my kids were little. We used to take them camping, but it was kind of cheater camping. The first camping trip we took was to the ocean in California. Weather's gorgeous. It's warm. Um, we did tent camping. They played on the beach every day. We went bike riding. It was fun. But after that trip, my husband and I were like, we are not tent campers. We, this is dirty. It's hard to keep things clean. We've got a bunch of little kids running around and it just wasn't for us. Let me back you up just a little bit so you can see more of the book. So we bought a trailer, like a big pop outs, <laughs> full kitchen, full bath multiple bedrooms and we went to since this is july hold on one second i'm missing my july sticker give me one second okay i wanted this because i wasn't sure i need also need my calendar let me see i let me just bring my hobo back over here so i can see the month of july 
I'll set it over here because I can't remember what day, <laughs> what day, what starts on. All right, let's keep going. Um, anyway, so we bought a trailer and then we took that trailer up to Yosemite. We took the kids up to Yosemite and it was fun. Uh, it was a scary ride up that mountain, but we did it. And we pulled this gigantic trailer with a Ford Expedition, the Eddie Bauer version of it. So it had a bigger, no bigger transmission, bigger engine, but Man, did it make my my poor my poor expedition suffered suffered greatly for that trip. But it was fun, and that's when the kids were still little. So, uh, but again, when we got back from that, we sold the trailer because we are not trailer people either. We are hotel people. We figured out quickly after doing a couple of different tries that we are hotel people. So, um, yeah, me going camping where there's no electricity, no running water, an outhouse. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can see why I've been putting it off. I just, uh, I don't know. It's going to happen though this year. And I have the kit. I have the kit, so I got to do it, right? That's, that's how I'm looking at it. So I'm going to throw down all the date dots and I will speed through the date dots so that you don't have to watch me put all of these down. And like magic, we will be done. Okay, so here all the date dots are down. I'm kind of thinking that I might want to change these date dots up to be multicolored, like they are in the Hobonichi Kazu. I think that would look so much cuter. But I'm going to put the July down here. If I can get it off. Let's see. Let's go like... Where do I want it? Hold on, because I do have a couple of boxes to put down too see which ones I want to use. So I've got this one here. I'm going to put this one here. And then this here. Perfect. And then I still have one up here to do. So let's do the, the green one. It's a nice bright color. Okay. So this is my Avalon and Ninth 7x9 in case you're wondering. And it's very, very, very similar in size to Erin Condren, so you can see that everything fits in here perfectly, unlike the other planner that I had that did not. So on here, I also have like things like my paydays, so I do have these little flags here so that you can mark like paydays, bill dues, and that kind of stuff, so you don't have to take up like a whole entire box for stuff like that, so I can put these down. And then I've got all these little Bill Do ones that you can put down. I'm pretty sure that this isn't going to change, but you never know, right? Sometimes I might actually pay one of these suckers off. That would be awesome, but not probably not likely. Especially not in the summertime. Okay. That looks good. And then I have two birthdays. So I'm going to put those down. That's not going to change. So I've got one on the 23rd. That's my son's birthday. And one on the 28th. That's my, oh, you know what? He needs a darker color. Because that is orange next to orange. Let's do the, this one. The night sky. So we've got two birthdays. One. And one here. And then, of course, 4th of July. So let's put a box there. I have no idea what I'm doing for the 4th of July this year. Let me see. I'm actually off for a change. No, actually, I'm not. It's a Thursday. <laughs> I'll be at work. So I tell you what I'm doing. I'm standing up on the roof, which is where the helicopters land, watching the fireworks. That's where I'm going to be, hopefully, providing that nothing exciting is happening at that time. Okay, so 4th of July. Then we also have subs open. I like to put these on here. I don't know. just gives me stuff to put boxes. And then they close here. And then the website closes. Let's put that one down on the 22nd. Hear my dog whining in the background. Just took her outside to go to the bathroom and she's whining again because I have the camera on. Okay, and then on the 31st, I'm gonna put a big box. That is when 
everything should be loaded up on the website and ready to go, hopefully. And that's pretty much it. I think that's good. So that is the month of July ready to go. And now I'm going to move back to, let's see here. What's the dates here? I don't know. Hold on. I'm so far behind in this one too. It's ridiculous. So this one is Monday. What's that? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is the 13th. Does that sound right? Hang on, let me flip back to May so I can just make sure I don't get the dates messed up. One of these, one of these days I'm actually going to be organized. The only thing I am like vigilant in is my, um, my passport and my A6, but, and my cousin, usually my cousin. I'm a little bit behind in that one too. So this is the week of Monday the 13th. So this is this week, this week. <laughs> yes, I got this. I got this. Okay. So I'm going to use this kit, which is standard vertical. I need the numbers. Okay. So I'm going to put down the washi and the date covers and then just kind of go from there. So I know I have the camera on not quite so bright today. I'll try to fix it in editing later, but one of the settings on the camera that makes it brighter also washes out the color. And this kit is so vibrant and so bright that I just didn't think it was, it would do it justice to have that brighter light on to where you couldn't really see how saturated the colors are. Cause um, I don't know, it's just one, one thing about my printers that I absolutely love. I mean, sometimes they're the bane of my existence, but I love the fact that they are able to print so bright and so vibrant and it's just, it just makes my heart happy. And I do use a lot of ink. If anybody's curious, it is a lot of ink that goes through this, but I think it's worth it in the long run because it's just, I don't know, just stands out so much better. And yeah, so that's it. Throw these down. And Sunday. Okay. Oh, let's see. Okay, so I had to go and switch over to voiceover because dogs went crazy, started barking, and just everything just went to heck after that. So I've just stopped the video right there and then I'm restarting it and just doing the rest of it as voiceover. I'm so, so sorry about that. But anyway, back to the planner. So for this particular planner, this is my seven by nine. This is my Avalon and ninth. And like I said, it's very close to an Erin Condren. So size wise, you're going to have about the same thing. The only difference is I think between the Erin Condren and this one is the space in between the boxes, maybe. Um, I mean, in between the vertical rows, but I'm not hundred percent sure about that because I haven't had an Erin Condren in forever. And I know that she's doing like lifestyle planners and all kinds of different stuff. So just know that this is made for the seven by nine vertical planner. It's not, not, any of the like lifestyle ones or any of that because I'm really not sure about the size boxes for that one but I wanted to just kind of go over what I do with all of my leftovers because you can see I have like a ton of leftovers because I used all of the different subscription kits except for the journaling one and that one I'm saving for like I said my travel journal which I will do a setup I'm going to do a setup video of the travel journal and get it all ready to go and then I can start using it as I go and it may take me a year it may take me five years to finish that it I don't have like any real will end in sight for the travel journal it's going to be set up and ready to go so whenever we do take trips i can put all of my like memory keeping stuff in there and just like restaurants that we go to and places that we go because i can start keeping i stopped keeping a, like a lot of like receipts and tickets and things like that i stopped keeping that stuff because I really didn't have anywhere to put it or to because i really don't do any any actual true memory keeping anymore I stopped doing it a long time ago because it's very time consuming, but I really do want to memory keep trips like travel and stuff because that's like 
things that I do want to definitely want to memory keep. I don't need to memory keep day to day stuff. Um, I've got 150 bajillion pictures of Raina, and they're all like kind of scattered here and there, stuff like her first day of school, things like that. And so those are the kinds of things that I want to put just in like my daily planner. I have my little sprocket. I can print out the pictures or what I actually started doing because it was easier for me is if you get um, glossy sticker paper and you run it through your printer and just put it on um, photo settings, you can get the same quality pictures as if you you know, depending on your printer. I don't want to say that for everybody. Depend I can tell you my mom's pictures would look terrible because her printer is, is like not a very good printer, but my pictures come out pretty good. And so I can use those right inside of like my daily journal. And that kind of small memory keeping is more consumable for me than doing like full page spreads. Like if you've ever watched Christine from Coco Daisy, she's like got these full page spreads and all these pictures and all this journaling about like every daily life stuff. My daily life is not that exciting. <laughs> like I do not have the ability or the capacity to do that much journaling because I just don't have that much of an exciting life. But when I get together with the kids and we go do something like we go on a hike with the baby or um, one of the things that we have in Coeur d'Alene is a splash pad in downtown Coeur d'Alene. And so she loves that thing. As a matter of fact, if you get her on that splash pad, you are going to be there all day because she does not want to leave it. Like stuff like that is is memory keeping worthy like days like that where I take a lot of pictures like the hikes around the lake that kind of stuff that's that's memory keeping worthy but my regular everyday day-to-day -day life is just in the shop <laughs> I'm either drawing or I'm formatting or I'm printing or I'm cutting or something like that and that is not memory keeping kind of stuff so that is why I stopped that subscription I used to have the memory keeping subscription from Coco Daisy I stopped it because I wasn't using it and I just went to straight planning. And then in my planner, my journal, I should say, in my journal, um, I do not journal every single day and I don't feel bad about it. I journal whenever I feel like it. It is blank. That's the one that I get from Planner Perfect. I Sometimes it's just notes on a page. Sometimes it's like journaling. Sometimes there's pictures in there. Sometimes there's doodles. It just depends. That's my kind of like my everything. I guess, I guess that's what you call it. My everything planner where I just have all of my stuff in it and one of the inserts in there also has a calendar so that I can keep track of stuff but anyway that is for a whole nother time I went over all of my journals and my planners and stuff in our previous video if you want to go check that one out if you're like curious of what the kind of stuff that I use but I, I switch I flip-flop back and forth between planners I'm like I have not ever found planner piece and I don't think I ever will because I just I get bored easily with the same thing over and over and over again. I don't know if you can kind of gather that from my <laughs> my jumping around between doing, you know, mixed media and doing all that kind of stuff. So I flip flop. I'm all over the place and I never know um, what I'm going to use from day to day. So it just depends on my mood. Sometimes I'm in the A5. Sometimes I'm in the passport. Sometimes I'm in the A. Well, I'm always in the A6 because that goes in my backpack. But like I kind of flip flop around between planners. And um, every once in a while, I'll go back and I'll catch up some of the planners if I feel like it. Or there's other times where there'll be entire spreads in a planner that have no, not a single pen went to it. But I just had a good time putting down stickers. And that's what's important, right? Sometimes you just need that time to unwind and just sit down and create and play with stickers and just like block out everything. And it's funny because my boys don't understand quiet. Like... I just found this out too. So interesting little fact about the human. You know how when you ask your husband or your boyfriend or your brother or any male, any male person in your life, what are you thinking? Or, you know, like what's what's on your mind right now? And they say nothing. It really is nothing. Like they're able to quiet their brain to where there's absolutely nothing in there at all. They're not thinking about anything. And it boggles my mind that they can do that because I don't know a single female that can do that. Like we always have some type of an inner monologue going on, some type of thought process. I got to do this. I got to do that. A conversation that you're running over and over and over in your head. This could have gone better. Maybe I should have said this. Maybe I should have said that. You know what I mean? But guys, they don't have that unless they're specifically thinking about it. Like I know me personally, and I'm curious in the comments down below, leave it down below for me. If you are a woman and you are able to shut off all all activity in your brain. I want to know. I do. I want to know because I haven't met any female that 
says that they're able to do that. Like there's always some sort of, until you go to sleep at night, there's some sort of in, inner monologue going on like 24 seven. For me, 90% of my inner monologue is ideas about the shop kits, ideas for different artwork, idea for, ideas for icons, all that kind of stuff. So for me, it's more like the creative type of a thing where I'm just trying to like brainstorm stuff that I want to do. Um, sometimes it's and like, I don't, I don't know, like lately it's been about having to go to the dentist and being stressed out about, you know, having dental work done. And then I finally got it done and I'm like, wow, what a big baby. Like I spent uh, way too much energy and time worrying about it. And then it actually went fine. So <laughs> like silly things like that. And so I'm kind of curious, like if there's anybody out there who's able to, to just quiet your whole brain and have nothing going on in there. Um, it would be interesting to see how many women can do that. Like, I know it is a thing for men. And now when I ask my husband, what are you thinking about? And he says nothing. He really does mean nothing. He's like, he's got nothing going on in there. So anyway, I just thought it was a funny little fun fact. Anyway, to get back to what I was saying, um, when it comes to like my planners and stuff, I can't, I can't find like a happy place to where all of all I'll, be in it every single day, but just sitting down and putting down stickers with no sound, nothing going on. I don't have videos playing in the background. I don't have music playing. I don't have anything going on in the background. Sometimes I just want to sit down and lay down stickers. And whether I put a pen to the paper or not, it's very therapeutic to me to just sit down and decorate a page. I just think it's it's very fun. It's the same thing when I feel like doing mixed media. That's another thing where I just don't have anything going on in the background. Now, my boys always have something they're either have they have headphones in and they listen to a podcast or they're watching something on youtube there's always something going on and i think the reason why it is for them that they do that is because there's nothing going on in their head like i have so much going on in my head that i don't need any other distractions around me i've got it like when i want my head like when I want to be quiet and I don't want to think of things, that's when I'll put on YouTube videos or or an audio book or listen to music or something like that because then that quiets my brain to just focus on that, whether it's the show or the, the book or the music or whatever. And that, and that kind of shuts off all of that like constant monologue going on inside my head. So anyway, I don't know. Maybe that just means that I need medication. <laughs> Hey, maybe I'm just weird. I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comments. So anyway, what do you think? So far, um, the way that I set this up is pretty much the way I've been kind of setting up most of them. If it's my kit, I did try out, um, I believe it was, what is last week? Hold on. Let me grab it really quick. So the week before I kind of flipped back and you saw a little bit of it. I want to say it's Sweet Bean Plans or Hubman and Chug Girl. I can't remember. But for May the 4th, oh, it's Hubman Chub Girl. I pulled out an old um, Star Wars kit from Hubman and Chub, Hubman and Chub Girl, along with all the deco and the washi and laid that one down for the week before for um, May the 5th or May the 4th. I'm sorry for May the 4th, but it's actually on. Yeah, no, it is May the 4th, Saturday. Okay, so I have that one down, but I haven't put a pen to it yet. It's really, really cute. I should have showed it to you. I kind of flipped to it a little bit, but it's definitely not the same style of planner as this. This is where I get to my kits or where I do my no white space planner. Also like Avalon and Ninth kits. Um, if I use any SPC kits, which I have not in a really long time, I only have a couple left and I haven't ordered from SPC in a really long time. Cause like I said, I've got a ton of Sweet Kawhi design. I just ordered, I don't know why, but I just ordered, a bunch of stuff from Sweet Bean Plans and I ordered just a one time of the monthly subscription because I wanted to see what you get in the monthly subscription with Sweet Bean Plans. So I did order that. Um, I didn't sign up for a subscription because you have the option to do a one time, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, I wish I could do that, but I don't think I have the stock for that. I mean, I guess if I wasn't doing the washi, like if the washi was separate, I don't know. Anyway, again, there goes my brain. See? 
I just I'm constantly going off in another direction and I need to <laughs> I need to focus I need to focus on what we're doing right now which is a plan with me so at the bottom of the page the way that I always do any of the big kits the Avalon and Nights the Mies like my kits the the bigger ones like Sweet Quiet Design is I always put my check boxes across the bottom I learned this from Sarah at Pinnacle Sticker Co because that's how she does hers or she used to I don't I haven't she hasn't done a plan with me in a while so I don't know if she's changed that up at all um but all, all I need there is top three or do this. So I just need three things each day that I managed to accomplish that was on my to-do list. Because like most people out there, you have your daily to-do list of things that you want to do so that you actually don't feel like a potato. Um, and so even if it's something as simple as laundry, grocery shopping, and go to the post office. Like those are the top three, three things that I needed to get done today. And if I get those done, I feel like I have accomplished something. Like something got done that day that was on my to-do list that I needed to do. And nine times out of 10, no lie, it's household stuff on that top three list because I have a really bad habit of heading into the shop or into the office and just like the day just slips by and I get nothing household wise done. Like I don't get the laundry done. I don't go grocery shopping. I don't get to the post office. I don't get the yard work done. I don't get that stuff done because once I head into the shop or the office, like time just slips away and I'm either drawing or formatting or doing orders or getting ready for sale or whatever it is that I'm doing. And I just lose track of time. So most of the time that top three is like top three things in the house. Like right now, today, my top three things that had to get done were yard work, which I did check that one off. Um, burn. I got a burn permit <laughs> so that I could burn stuff that got done and laundry. I'm doing that right now. So um, those are the top three things that I need to get done today because I have to go back to work tomorrow and daily stuff on the days of where I go back to work. Usually that top three are the do this um, switches from household stuff to things that I need to do while I'm at work. So whether there's any of the so if you work in a hospital you know exactly what I'm talking about if you don't you might have this similar thing at one of your jobs but you you get assigned things that you have to get done by the end of the month so for us we have like these monthly things it's called RQI where we have to do ACLS and, and CPR and that kind of stuff and then there's also like the human resources stuff don't hit people be nice you know that kind of stuff things that like so that those things like have to get done by a certain time so if there's something like that that'll end up on that list or sometimes it'll be like if i'm bringing my planner and i want to get caught up on my planner it'll be planner time or if i'm drawing it'll be like the top three things that i want to finish drawing this week stuff like that so when i'm at work it's a little it's not necessarily house related stuff because I'm not home. I work 12 hour shifts. So I work for 12 hours and I come home and I sleep and then I get ready to go work and it's, it's right back in the circle again. So I very rarely get to do any household stuff on work days. Um, or it's a list that I make for my son who is home. So if there's like some things that I need him to do, I'll put it on that list because this planner stays at home and I'll pop it open and I'll leave it on the desk and then he can just look and see, okay, I need to cut the standard vertical kits today or I need to cut the hobo cut kits today. You know what I mean? So it'll be like a list for him. So that's what that bottom row is for, which is why I always put it in the same spot. This is what I learned from Sarah. If it's important, always put it in the same spot because then it's easy for you to just get to it, see what you need to do. And the rest of it is all just cute stuff around it. So that's why everything else is just kind of willy nilly. And that bottom section is the way it is. Plus my son would take him five years on every single one of these pages to go through all these stickers. He'd get so distracted if I didn't say like, just look at the bottom of the page and under do this, that's what I need you to do today. And then that's, <laughs> that's the way it's done. So my son is turning 27. He's, oh my goodness, he's turning 27 this year. He's a full-time college student. He went back to school. He's a, a returning student. He used to work at Northrop, Northrop Grumman in California for a few years building airplanes. And then he decided that he didn't want to do that anymore. He wants to do computer coding. So he moved back home with us and he's a full-time college student and he works at the resort here in Coeur d'Alene um, just a couple of days a week. And then he works for me in the office cutting and I taught him how to cut the kits. So if there's any kit issues with cutting, um, yeah, that's his fault. <laughs> Because he's the one that cuts all the subs. He doesn't cut like the individual orders that come in. I do all that, but he does the subscription cutting. I do all the printing. 
and the test cutting to make sure that everything is good. But that doesn't always take into account when he knocks over a bank of cutters and they land on the ground and then they no longer work. So anyway, it's all done. And I think it looks absolutely stunning. I love the colors. I love the whole palette. I think the whole thing is beautiful. I'm just going to put down a few of the little deco stickers that I have on this last page and then we are pretty much finished. I will be able to fill this out because it is actually today is the 15th. So I have a couple of days to back plan and since Monday was the day I went to the dentist, you can see that there isn't a whole lot of space for me to write because I spent 15 hours of that day sleeping. So <laughs> that was some good medication that they gave me. Anyway, I hope you guys like this. Like I said, leave me some comments down below. If you like, like, subscribe, all that good stuff so that uh, YouTube knows to share this with other people who like Play With Me's. And again, this kit will be available on the 1st and then it will close on the 10th. So if this is something that you would like for your stash, you can head over to cocoandfluff.com. Everything will be listed, linked down below so that you can get right to the website and you can sign up on the 1st. This is not um, a subscription where you have to be here forever. You can cancel any time. Um, you just have a certain window that you need to cancel by, and that is pretty firm. If you do not want the next month, I'm just going to tell you while I'm going through these things. If you do not want the next month, you can skip it, and you would do that before the 22nd of each month. If it as after the 22nd, there's nothing I can do. It's going through, and you're going to get that kit. So I just want to make sure everybody knows that 22nd at midnight is your cutoff to cancel or skip the following month's subscription. And then after that, it's a done deal, and you'll be able to make changes on the 1st. Anyway, thanks guys so much for hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you on the next one. Bye.